Thank you for tuning in. I know it's been a while since I've updated. I've still been very active in development in the community, just working on sort of a reference platform to be able to uh, interface with drone blocks. You, you might be aware of, of drone blocks today, currently supports the Tello with many different uh, navigation commands, of course, flip commands. But what I'm doing is working towards uh, making this compatible uh, with this uh, PX4 based drone. It's, it's uh, running a uh, BeagleBoard Blue single board computer and a shout out to Andrew. He's from the PX4 community who's been helping me work through getting a position hold. It, it actually performs very well uh, using a flow deck V2 from Bitcraze. And on that deck, we have both optical flow as well as a distance sensor. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. You'll notice that there's a pretty light uh, all up weight of 303 grams. The frame is 3D printed and hope to work towards just a really simple kit that will allow uh, stuff to be tested, obviously, in the simulated environment with PX4 simulation, and then being able to take that code and test to, to a real drone that can be tested uh, indoors. So the video that I'm putting together will be based on this uh, great repo by this uh, gentleman, Ali Reza 787B. It's Mav SDK Drone Show. It's based off of uh, Mav SDK Python. And it's uh, really cool because there's all sorts of uh, different trajectories that you can have your drone follow. I'll just uh, show a couple of different ones in the script and then in the actual demonstration, I'll just uh, fly in a circle. But what this does is since constantly sends uh, various uh, NED set points to the drone. You can fly in all sorts of uh, cool trajectories. You can preview them before you actually fly. You can obviously run them in the simulator, which I've been doing, but I really was excited about uh, taking this work and then uh, putting it on this uh, BeagleBone based drone. So this video will give a demonstration of that and um, I'll walk you through the steps. Just a brief uh, peek under the hood before we get started. This is the repo cloned in my local machine. I'm looking at the CSV creator file. I've scaled things back uh, substantially, mainly because I'm going to be uh, doing these tests in the garage. Want to stay low and uh, keep a small a diameter, a one meter diameter uh, for the circle trajectory. Now, what's cool about Mav SDK Drone Show is that it's designed to support multiple drones for sort of a swarming or drone light show configuration. Today, I'm just going to be uh, demonstrating with one. So I have all the parameters set up. And then when I run this file, uh, based off my parameters, we, we get a quick preview. So what will happen is uh, it will take these inputs and then uh, generate a visualization can see here that we have the different states of taking off. You can see our uh, units here, distances of up to 1.5 meters and then a small radius. So when I close out of this, you'll actually notice that the data is stored in a CSV file. Let me see if I can find that for you. Okay, active.csv. These are all the uh, set points. Uh, right now I'm just using position and velocity. Uh, in my Mav SDK calls, but you'll notice that, for example, let's just take uh, PZ, our sending in NED uh, coordinates. So a D would be, you know, northeast down. So you can see a negative obviously represents a positive or a vertical ascent of the drone. So if we look through all of these, you'll notice that it starts to gain altitude, but no longer than a one point or no higher than 1.5 meters. And this file is generated. There's over a thousand or almost a thousand set points here. I've gone ahead and powered up the BeagleBone drone. It will broadcast a network, we'll connect to it. It's configured to uh, send Mavlink streams to the uh, connected computer over UDP. 
since I'm on a PC, I need to get Mav SDK server running. So that's what I'm doing here, set to 14550, which is normally Q ground control or your ground station. But for this demonstration, I'm using it uh, for Mav SDK. Okay, you can see the drone powered up. Now, let me make a couple of, of call outs. You obviously uh, want to be in position mode. Uh, that's required for this to work. And you see I have my throttle set at 50%, toggling into position mode. I just do the throttle at 50% so that if I need to take manual control, I don't have to throttle up. I can uh, just immediately have the throttle I need and then take over manually. And now we'll go ahead and run the offboard from CSV file. That's the one that loads the uh, active.csv parameters in. You'll see we're uh, taking off. And then on the left here, you'll notice the different modes of initial climbing state. It will hold for a few seconds. See here, my controller is uh, just laying on the ground. And then you'll notice uh, the script is now uh, commanding the drone from the set points uh, to navigate around in a circle. So you can see it's holding the endpoint and then finally the uh, land command will be issued after it returns home. Really impressed with uh, the performance of the position hold as well as a Mav SDK drone show. That was a brief overview of this uh, BeagleBone drone with a PX4 running. Really excited about having a hardware platform that I can test with and in an upcoming video, I'm going to be excited about showcasing uh, some of the uh, drone blocks capabilities with this. So now we have uh, Python through Mav SDK. Uh, in the future, we'll have drone blocks and uh, perhaps some other ways to interface uh, with this hardware. Uh, thank you guys for, for tuning in. If you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please feel free to leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.